hi beautiful people welcome and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time of joining this channel it's still here and i am your captain today's video i will be talking about how you could use your relts results if you have not met up with the uk requirement to register with the malta nursing council remember quitting is not an option at the end of this video you will know all the documents required for registration with the malta nursing council the cost how to apply and as well cost of living in Malta. I'll also share with you some agents that are recruiting nurses and midwives. I'll also be showing you the benefits they are providing as well as pay range. And I'll tell you how you can actually move to the UK after you have practice in Malta for a minimum of one year without having to write the IALTS exams again. If this is something you would be interested in, stick to the end of this video because it promises to be educating and informative. A quick disclaimer, I am not a registered nurse in Malta. I am a registered nurse here in the UK. However, I recently visited Malta and I realized that it's actually a beautiful island with Africans that are there and the fact that people can move to the UK after practicing for one year, I think it's a beautiful cash and I decided to share on my Instagram and of course people were interested in it hence this video so if it's something you would love to know please stick to the end of this video What are the requirements to register with the Nursing and Midwifery Council in Malta? The first thing is to get your international passport. But you need your birth certificate. You also need a police clearance and you know that your police certificate needs to be valid within three months of your application. Your international passport needs to be valid as well. And you also need a passport photograph. It's your license. You also need your diploma certificate or your BSc degree. You will present reference later so if you've got years of experience you can also present you need a certificate of good standing you also need your transcripts from your school of nursing or from your university an english test you can present oet or ielts now the ielts the score required is minimum of six in listening writing reading and speaking whilst for the oet the minimum requirement is you need a b in speaking a minimum of c plus in writing reading and listening so when you've gotten that you need to realize that it expires after two years right and that's one reason why i think you should consider malta if you have been trying to register with the nmc uk and you're not getting the desired score now that you've gotten all your documents can we go over to the step-by-step -step process yes so now the first thing you want to do is to register with the mcuric so the mcuric is like their educational system in malta so they do the evaluation of your certificate and they will give you a certificate of recognition saying that they have recognized your certificate or your degree and that it matches the malta's government level of education which is not less than level five perhaps if it is less than level five another option that will be given to you or might be considered for you to do an adaptation course the mcuric registration has nine steps it's very self-explanatory so i'm not going to fill them for you to see i believe you'll be able to do it yourself if you have any issues please feel free to ask me in the comment section fill in all the requirements as they have asked with all the documents submitted make sure that you upload them in the pdf file or the file that has been asked so that you will not get your form rejected also make sure that you follow all the instructions and fill in all the parts that has asterisks as they are very important and they will not let you to submit without having that note that you can add as many qualifications as you wish to declare but make sure that you'll be able to verify them when you are being asked after filling up all the steps, you'll be asked to make a payment which is done online. The amount you're going to pay will depend on the number of documents you are declaring. It could range from 10 to 50 euros per application.
after submitting your application mqrix is going to evaluate it and then send you a certificate of recognition stating that it does meet their requirements or if it doesn't they'll let you know next thing you want to do is register with the nursing and military council before you start your registration process with the nursing and military council of malta please make sure you have all your documents ready as well as make sure they are all notarized by a lawyer or notary public on the CNM website, you'll see how you can register. So for me, I'm going to register as a non-EU trained nurse. I'm going to view or download the application. Download the application form. You can find that online. Fill the application form. Please make sure you answer all the questions correctly as they're going to check everything and make sure that they are aligned. You do not want to be providing a different information from what is going to be in your certificate or what's going to be in your transcript after you filled in the information you need to make the payment as you can see here the bank details are right in their website for you to make the payment and the fee is there for you to make the payment after you've made the payment you need to submit everything you have done online by email now you can see the email there cnm.sph at gov.mt after you've made your application to the nursing and military council of malta you need to give them time to assess all your documents and when they find out that yes you are at par with their registration guidelines they will send you a letter to attend a face-to-face -face interview when that is done, they will then decide if you need an adaptation course, which will be about two months, or you need to go back to school, which might take about six months. I'll advise you if you have 5,400 euro to pay, you can come directly to Malta with this route as a student. The good thing about this is the fact that after you've studied, you can then register directly with the National Medical Council without having to take any board exams. You can also work while you're studying and bring your family. For more information on the bridging course, please check MCAS or University of Malta. Now, let's talk about getting a job. So, so I have a job offer that I saw here that was posted in February. So, this is in Valletta. They said it's for a general nurse. The pay here is the full-time gross monthly wage is around 1,900 euro. The client is also offering holiday plus vacation leave and bonuses as per Maltese legislation. They are also offering overtime, Sundays and public holidays to be reanimated as per Maltese legislation. So if you see this is something that's for you, I'm going to drop the link as well for you to search and i also went on pay scale pay scale is saying that the pay rate is about 9 to 11 euro per hour and the total pay per annum is about 19k to 32k per annum guys which is not bad that is in euro now i know you might be wondering the thing is Malta is a small country, hence the job opportunity is not as much as it is in big countries like the UK. But there's always shortage of nurses in every country. So the tax is low, the cost of living is actually low as well, the crime rate is low, and Malta is a holiday destination. Don't even argue with me don't even argue with me so yeah these are one of the reasons why you should definitely consider moving to malta to work especially if your english test is not adding up to the uk requirements do not let your ielts to waste after two years do not let your sweat to waste most especially because you can actually move after a year now let's talk about the visa processes probably your hospital or the agency would be willing to sponsor you if not i bet you it will definitely be worth the stress or the funds involved just look and see as you know i do not practice there i'm just trying to share the information i have gathered and i know so you also need to do your research list of agencies i'm going to be mentioning i am not 100 sure of them so please do not bank on it 
try and apply but make sure you do not pay any money to any agency i will be listing them at the end of the video as well as the schools you need to register for adaptation course that if you're required to do one note that you should not pay any agency any money to recruit you the only fee you're required to pay is for your mqric and your nursing and military council registration which is 190 2.50 and about 10 to 50 pounds for your MQRIC evaluation. So I do hope that you have picked up one or two things to help you with your application process. Also know that you can actually call the Board of Nursing in Malta as well as you can call the Educational Board. I'll be leaving the numbers to clarify anything you're not sure of. So if you are in Malta or you are currently in your process to migrate to Malta, please let us know in the comment section. Also, if you have any idea or any information that will help people currently trying to register with Malta Nursing Council, please drop it in the comment section as I would like to know and I believe other people would love to read. And thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video if you have learned one or two things from it. I will be in the comment section reading and learning from you guys or getting your questions to answer as much as possible. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.